Hey guys, it's Andrew here. Today I'm going to show you how to make fractals. So what is a fractal? Well, a fractal is an, usually an image, it can be other things like music, but usually an image which is internally self-similar. Okay, and what that means is you'll have a picture and then you can zoom in on a part of that picture and it will look like the whole picture. And because of that, and the whole picture had a part which you could zoom in, it would look like the whole picture. This inner picture will also have a picture you can zoom in on, and it looks like the whole picture. And it goes on forever and ever and ever. And it's quite mathematically interesting, and they look pretty cool too. Um, they make for some pretty quirky patterns. So, anyway, um, I thought I might just make a preview. Uh, so I did that earlier. And so here's what I prepared earlier. Okay, it looks like that. That's better. Um, so yeah, this is the Mandelbrot set. This is what we will be generating today. Okay, so I think you've seen enough of that. Go out of that. We need to go and get a program called JavaQuot. Okay, so to do that, just fire up your web browser. Go to Google. <coughs> go to Google and type in JavaQuot here. Uh, my internet isn't working very well, so I've just got these different window, different pages that we need to go to already open, so I don't need to load them. So anyway, just type in JavaQuot and go to Google search, and that'll take you here. Uh, click on JavaQuot to Fractal Maker. That'll take you here. Okay, and just scroll down and click on Download. Well, actually, on this page, if you let it load for long enough, um, the JavaQuot program here will actually turn up, which is a bit of a nuisance actually. You don't really want to use this inside your web browser. Uh, it will, it just means that you'll have to load it every single time and that's not good. So anyway, just go to download instead and that'll take you to this page and click on javaquat211.jar okay, and it'll come up with a window like this and it'll ask you whether you want to just open it or whether you want to save we want to save. Okay, if you're in Internet Explorer, it'll come up with like open here, save here, or cancel here, or something like that. Just make sure you save it instead of opening it because if you've got to open it next time you want to uh, use the program, you'll need to go into your web browser and open it again, which means it'll download again, and that's not very good. So just go save to disk and click OK. And there we go, it's downloaded. So, I've already downloaded it, so I can get rid of that, um, even though it completed because it remembered it or something. So, I've already got it, and there it is there. Okay, so, we just open that. Okay, and it'll bring up a window like that. Um, just to get you started for something to work on, go to Draw, and go to Start. And whenever you do that, you can press Control D instead. Uh, it's probably better to just press Control D. But and there you go. That's Mandelbrot set. <coughs> now, obviously, this doesn't look very good yet, uh, mainly because it's not big enough. So to make this bigger, uh, what you want to do is go to Windows and go to Parameters window. Okay, and then I'll bring up a window like this, and you go to Height and Width. And usually I use 500 by 500, but because I'm limited to a small screen size to capture this, I'll just use 350 by 350. Okay, and go back to here and press Control D. And there you go. Obviously, you also could have gone draw, start, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, so the really easy thing to use about this is. Uh, you just want to zoom in most of the time and to zoom in on an area all you do is you click and drag around the area you want to zoom into and whatever's in that little white box that you make uh, will become the size of the whole thing and you can do that quite a few times uh, on this program it's it's theoretically not limited but because your computer can only do a certain amount of decimal places after you zoom in uh, after a fair while it'll start to get pixelated but theoretically you can do it much further and if you look in my favorites on YouTube you'll see some other people have made some zooming videos and um, they look really cool and they zoom in a long 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 way
so um, you might want to check out those. But for the time being, control drop. And you'll see this is the soft similarity I was talking about. This looks just like the one earlier. Um, so anyway, what you just want to do most of the time with this is just go exploring. Um, so yeah, I might just go into here and press Control D. Um, it doesn't really matter what you zoom in on, as long as you zoom in on something which looks like it has some sort of detail, it ends up being interesting eventually. Um, just play around with it, see what you can find. I think I might just zoom in on here and control draw. And see, I'll zoom in on here, control draw. And here we go, finding something interesting. I'll go here, control draw. Okay, and I might try and get that little. There we go, control draw. Okay, now, this thing here actually looks like the whole thing. The problem is, when it starts looking like this, or it'll start looking that a long way before it starts looking exactly like that, that's really bad. Um, basically, you need to increase the depth. So when you go back to the parameters window and go to this depth box here, you need to just increase this number. Um, I would suggest the first time you do this, well, do about four times, so go 1,020. And to make the colors look the same as they did before, you just need to multiply it by the same number, so 1 times 4. Okay, and control draw that. And there you go. And this looks like that. Draw. And very pretty. Okay, so when you get an image that you like, like this, and you want to share it with somebody else or whatever, just go File and Save Image. And just save it wherever. I'll save it on the desktop. I'll call it Mandel. Uh, one thing you need to do with this program is make sure you put the file extension on. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't apply it automatically like most programs do. So just put .gif on the end of whatever you want to call it. Just go save. Okay. And that's here. This file here. There. Open that. And there it is. Alright, so that might be for all for this video. If you have any questions, uh, there's a lot more that you can do with this program. There's really, I can't explain it all in one YouTube video, and I also haven't mastered it. But um, I do know a fair bit, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Uh, I might make another YouTube video if there's uh, some interest in it. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, see ya. Bye.